Hi babies! Um, can hormones change your sexual orientation? This is a surprisingly under-researched topic. Uh, there, there's been very little studies done on it. Uh, we have this one from the Netherlands from 2014 with a very tiny pool. This was done on 115 trainers. And then we have a later one from Massachusetts, um, 2015. Um, this was done with 452 people. And that's pretty much the only study that's been done on this, so keep that in mind. Uh, before we get to the research, I can only speak anecdotally for myself. Before transitioning, I was straight, as in just a normal straight guy. You know, multiple girlfriends, I lived with two, one was my fiancé, and um, I liked girls. But now I have a boyfriend, and I like boys, and I'm not sure how it happened to me, it's kinda weird. I'm not sure how to say this without sounding like, I mean, I was a shitty person before transitioning, we've talked about it on this channel before, I, I'm, I'm ashamed of who I used to be. But I would never have dated a trana. I, I would never have dated a trans girl, you know, even, even if they passed, I was one of those kind of guys. You know, the, uh, down there, it just did not align with my <laughs> orientation at all. But now it's the opposite. I, 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 I like the, I don't like the, I don't like the hoo-ha, I don't like the foo-foo. I like, I like the wee-wee, the pee-pee, the willy. <laughs> So my orientation has changed, and um, I blame femboys for that, that's how it started. <laughs> After transitioning, I met my first femboy, we played games a lot together, hung out a lot together. Like I said, it happened without me realising it, it's not really a conscious thing, you don't, you, it's not something you think about and actually actively do, it just sort of happens. We started joking and flirting with each other, it, it just felt natural. I do like boys. I don't like like masculine men, so I, so I don't think my orientation has changed that much. Uh, somebody said that could be like suede old bi or something, but the thing is, I used to love the foo foo, and now I hate it. Like it literally grosses me out. I I cannot. <laughs> uh, if it don't have a pee pee, it's not for me. So my orientation got really confused after transitioning, after beginning transition at least. I, I don't think of myself as transitioned yet. I mean, listen to my voice for starters. And of course, uh, that femboy is now my boyfriend. So a former <laughs> straight guy um, is now transitioning to a girl who has a boyfriend. What is it the hormones doing that? In my case, I suspect not. I think I just sort of got into femboys, went off girls. I mean, the fact that I'm not into like really masculine men is a bit of a red flag. I like sort of like nerdy, dorky boys, and especially femboys. I, I don't want to say this because it kind of sounds offensive because I don't like cis girls, so this isn't really fair. But of course, I also like trans girls. Um, pre-op trans girls, post-op don't do anything for me. I, I know that's problematic and offensive, but you can't you can't help what you're attracted to. So I'm going to get myself cancelled. <laughs> I'm going to get a Twitter mobbed, aren't I? Um, I'm not saying I don't see trans girls as girls. I, I, I do. I just don't like vagina girls. I like penis girls. <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> that's, the, that's, that's the best way I could describe it. Moving on, the study from Netherlands included 115 transsexuals, um, that's 70 male to females and 45 female to males. And 32% of M2Fs reported a change in sexual orientation and 22% of F2Ms uh, reported a change in sexual 
orientation. I'm going to the other study done in Massachusetts, the one with uh, 452. 64% uh, reported a change in attractions post transition, with uh, again M2Fs primarily being the one to change. So, around 30 to 40% of M2Fs report a change in sexual attraction um, after starting hormones pre op. So is it the hormones doing it? It's not that simple. Uh, this could be psychological rather than hormonal. Now we know hormones uh, play a, an important part in sexual or orientation prenatally, but there's not any research um, on the effects of hormones later in life. But it is suggested that uh, this could be psychological rather than hormonal. Uh, people who are transitioning have usually gone through a period of repressing their sexual identity. So that could suggest that they're repressing other things too, such as their orientation. But here Dr. Seth Pardo uh, gives an explanation. If you're a male, a natal male, but you, you feel like a girl inside, you know, you have dysphoria, you feel like you're the wrong sex, and you're like guys, Odds are, whoever you're attracted to, that guy, I mean, even if they're gay, um, they're going to view you as another guy. They're just going to view you as a gay guy, and, and they'll treat you as a gay guy rather than as a girl. Treat you in a different way than they would, you know, a visual cis female. And that can be very uh, uncomfortable and very upsetting. They can repress those feelings and think, you know, oh look, I've got a male body, I've got, I'm, I'm in male skin, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do the wife and thing, wife and kids thing, and people have done that for years, uh, for decades. Another reason is transitioning just simply makes you more comfortable experimenting with your uh, orientation. And if you tie your sexual orientation um, to your sexual identity and being with the opposite sex uh, gives you a feeling of validation, it could be that influencing the switch, uh, not the hormones. So can hormones change your sexual orientation? Sorry for waffling, let's answer the question. The answer, probably not, probably not, but honestly. We just don't know yet. We have to wait for more research. Um, but these studies suggest that other things could be going on under the hood. Uh, personal history, as it says here, social environment, you know, society and the way you yourself view your sexual identity. Um, was you repressing your true orientation before or are you just more fluid and more comfortable now you're transitioning? I think these um, have a much bigger impact on your orientation and your relationships now than the hormones themselves. I mean the hormones hormones are probably affecting it indirectly, but in the end the only, the only question you should be asking really is are you happy? Because that's all that matters. This doesn't matter. Uh, we have one life, a very short life your orientation, their orientation, it doesn't matter. You do you, boo. Live your best life. I'll see you in the next one, babies. Bye-bye. Zippity! -bye.